relationships matter a lot. We talk about this goal achievement triangle. So if you imagine a triangle on a, you know, on a notepad or piece of paper, on one corner you have goals, on the second corner you have tasks, and on the third corner you have relationships. So in order to achieve my goals, I got to get stuff done. Those are tasks. And I need the help of other people. Those are relationships. When we get stressed, we tend to focus on tasks at the expense of relationships. So I tend to disconnect from people. And I think particularly with the wholesaling profession, because you're you know out on the road so much, it would be very easy to disconnect from people. What that does, however, is actually make your job harder. And so the job in leadership, I believe, leadership in the wholesaling business, is if people were machines, they wouldn't need leadership. Leadership's job is to do one of a couple things. One, to help their wholesalers stay connected to each other. And two, to help them figure out how to get better. Like, how do I improve, right? So you mentioned, you know, how many people I see this week. So if I see 10 people, that's one thing I can do to drive my results. If I see more people, <clears throat> I should hypothetically sell more. But that's not the only variable. The other two variables besides seeing more people that drive sales are closing ratio and sales size. Closing ratio is if I see 10 people this week and seven of them buy, and next week I see 10 people and only two of them buy, the question is, why did that happen? And the third variable is when they buy, they buy more. So it's activity, closing ratio, and sales size. And I got to, as the leader of a sales organization, help my people identify which of those is their biggest bottleneck. And then when I de help them identify their bottleneck, how do I help them solve for that? And so if I'm tracking activity for the sales people that I lead, the wholesalers, whatever that might be, and I know that awesome Mike Baker has the best sales size, what I'm going to do is figure out what Mike's doing so I can help my other nine or 10 salespeople copy that. The, the nice thing about this business is it's a copycat business. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to come up with something brand new. But what you do have to do is figure out who is the best in my organization that's seeing people? Who's the best at close the closing ratio? Who's the best at the sales side? And then I want to copy that.